I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important video where we will learn how to rationalize cube roots. Most of you understand how to rationalize square roots, right? We basically use the concept of a square minus b square equals to product of a plus b and a minus b, right? So that is the conjugates, right? Now, if you have square roots, let's say a square root times b square root, and when you multiply them, what do we get? Square of a square root will be a, and we get b square square root will be b. So when you rationalize, you actually get rid of the radical part. So that is the basic concept and which we applied to rationalize most of the time while working with square roots. Now what should we do to rationalize the denominator of the function x minus 8 divided by cube root of x minus 2? Well, you can see that cube of cube root is x and 2 cube is 8, so we do have a relation here. Now to rationalize this, remember the formula for a cube minus b cube that should be applied, right? So let me rewrite, big and bold, the formula for a cube minus b cube, and then we will see how to rationalize. So a cube minus b cube is basically equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square, right? So that is the formula. Now, in order to get a cube minus b cube, to the term which is a minus b, I should multiply by this value, the trinomial a square plus ab plus b square, and that helps us to rationalize. So the key here is to multiply and divide by this factor. Okay? So I hope this basic concept is clear, and now let's try it out on the given question. We have x minus 8 over cube root of x minus 2. Now, to rationalize, I'm going to multiply by a square plus ab plus b square and also divide by the same factor. So we have x minus 8 in the numerator divided by cube root of x minus 2. Now, <clears throat> treat this as a and that as b, right? So in that case, I should be multiplying this by square of this number, which is cube root x square plus product of these two, which is 2 times cube root of x plus square of 2, which is, I will write 2 square for the time being, right? So this is the factor which you need to multiply and divide with. So we get 2 times cube root of x plus 2 square. So when you do so, since the formula here is straightforward, a minus b times a square plus ab plus b square will give us a cube minus b cube. So in the denominator, what you get is cube of this cube root, right, minus cube of 2. So that is what you get in the denominator. Perfect. So you see we have got rid of the radical from the denominator. In the numerator, we have the factor, uh, let me write this as x minus 8 times cube root of x square plus 2 times cube root of x plus 4, right? Now, when you open this bracket, you get x and here you get minus 8. So we have x minus 8 as a common factor in the numerator and denominator. Correct? So they can be cancelled. That's the whole idea. So I hope the concept is clear. right? So let me just finish off with the last step. It will give us x minus 8 in the denominator. Now this factor x minus 8 can be cancelled. So what do you get as a result is cube root x square plus 2 times cube root 
x plus 4 as your answer. Do you get it? So that is how we rationalize a cubic root function. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Remember to rationalize in the case of cubes or cubic roots, we have to multiply by a factor which is a square plus ab plus b square just as we have done here. You'll find this application extremely useful if you are taking up calculus. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.